Drunken outbursts, lewd behavior, nasty characters. That's how some are describing Coffee Pot Park in Old Northeast St. Pete. Even some won't take their kids there anymore. And it's such a historic park, so it's surprising. But as ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly says, there are steps that you can take to make the park safer. When my husband walks the dog early in the morning, if there is someone sleeping here, we do call the police. Diane O'Connor lives across from Coffee Pot Park, once the pride of this wealthy neighborhood. It has a gorgeous view of Snell Isle, cute playground, boat ramp, fishing pier, and a growing homeless population that neighbors say is disruptive and disrespectful. I think it is a problem. I think it discourages families for coming here. Billy Joseph manages a nearby pizza place. He believes two close liquor stores and a church that helps the homeless are part of the problem. It's not the same park that it used to be, so personally I'd rather take my daughter somewhere else. St. Pete Police is aware of the problem. No arrests have been made, but they're responding to complaints, most after dark. Be vigilant. If there's suspicious activity, neighbors are urged to call the non-emergency police line. Only dial 911 if there's a direct threat. Also, download a free app called Next Door. You can file complaints there. St. Pete PD is actively monitoring that app. Diana O'Connor craves that change. She recently looked out her front window and saw two men, well, bathing. They were not tourists and they were not from the neighborhood. In St. Pete, Sean Daly, ABC Action News.